Hey friends, it's Liron again. Thank you for joining me in another drawing lesson. This time what I want to do is draw a man in a high kick pose. Okay, we'll begin um, like we did on previous lessons with some very basic, um, almost stick man guidelines for this one. And you'll soon see how this all connects um, into a full figure. I'll try to make it as um, finalized as possible. So let me throw in all those guidelines in um, time lapse and I'll be back in a second. Okay, friends, there you have it. These are the basic like stick figure um, guidelines and hopefully you can see this well. I've made them um, significantly darker than I would if I'm just uh, drawing something for myself or for uh, just not for video because I want you to be able to see this. Um, now, what we're going to do next is build up on this stick figure. Um, a three-dimensional, more more three-dimensional um, shape that closely, more closely resembles the human body. And the way to do that is to begin just building uh, cylinders and um, circles that will represent all the limbs and the core area of the body. So, uh, for example, here where this hand comes, so what I'll do is draw a circle and uh, then I'll create this pipe like shape um, it has no um, mention of the muscles or the shape of the hand itself like more defined uh, it, it's just a simple cylinder just so we know where we want to place uh, the more accurate lines in a few seconds um, I will go ahead and sort of create a very light uh, indication of the shape of the hand here um, but nothing too um, detailed they'll just make the separation of the thumb uh, but this can definitely be left for uh, a much later phase um, and for the main area here of the body we will use this sort of um, a f fat, <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but a f really thick cylinder here um, that's going to come all the way down here. Now, the important thing to notice is that the center line of the torso is not in the exact center sorry between those two lines but rather a bit to the right so instead of the line we had before we're going to just pull slightly to the right and this will be our center line just for us to know where to put it next we're going to build um, the other arm and uh, the legs which i'm going to do now in time lapse but you got the main idea hopefully and then you'll see how we build upon that the more final figure so let's kick it into time lapse and i'll be back soon Okay, friends, a word or two on the head because I am struggling with it a bit. So I just thought it would be nice for you to see more of the process here. Um, so what I've had a second ago was just this rounded um, circle shape. Now, this is the way I like to do it. I first use this circle and then I sort of build the, the, the entire face out from it. So what I do now is I figured that the... the rounded shape that I drew earlier was a little too high uh, for my taste. So what I'm going to do now is I, I've drawn it a little lower and I will I will indicate this sort of a line that represents where the eyes are going to be. Now I'm doing this uh, using reference and I do have some experience in this. Um, there are more accurate ways of portraying the head which I will go into in a future video. I'll definitely do that. Um, but for now, uh, you can simply look at what I do here. 
and so I sort of build the shape of the head from that original circle, simple circle shape. And there we have it. So now we have this very, um, very again, initial representation of the body. And we will go slowly one by one to each of the parts and add what really will make it look more um more like the human body we're going to add the the, to the muscle tones and this guy is relatively muscular so you want to get that in um, so let's begin from the neck and downwards and we won't be able to cover everything in real time so i will do some time lapse here and there but at least perhaps one arm and one leg so that you can see how this works so First we have the neck and it connects directly to the guideline I drew earlier. Now this is not how it works in real life. You have this um, muscle that comes from here diagonally and connects from the neck to this area. And I'm by no means an expert on anatomy yet. Um, I do need to work on my skills in, in that area, which is one of the more challenging things, I think, for any artist. Um, but I do my best and I believe I'm getting there. <laughs> so first, the, I'm indicating the, um, the shoulder muscle. Um, and you might have seen my video on how to draw a male arm. I'll add a link in the description. Um, and you can see this in more details but for now so we want to indicate the shoulder muscle and then there is another uh, I think it's the uh, triceps I'm not sure that's underneath the arm and this connects to the elbow down here now between the hand and the elbow, we have another well-defined muscle that you want to get in, which sort of begins with a straight line and then ends up with a curve near the elbow. You really want to um, get, make sure you indicate that well. Sometimes you'll see this sort of a gentle line thrown here. Uh, and from here on the upper part of the arm, we have something very similar that is sort of goes again begins with a straight line and then widens and sort of connects here now the important thing to notice is that this part of the arm is facing slightly towards us so we're not seeing it from the side but take a look here so this is the shoulder and this is the elbow it goes slightly like this towards us and so it looks a little shorter than it is in reality um, and here we have this sort of a, a muscle again that we can only see some of because of that foreshortening phenomenon um, so there you have it. This is one of the arms at least. Um, now let's work a bit on the torso and this leg and then we'll finish everything using time lapse. So let's get to it. Um, first, you want to get the connection to the arm right. So it's somewhere around here. And this is where the chest muscles are around this area. So let's just very lightly indicate where they're going to be. And from here you want to get another line that goes behind the chest muscles. And sort of, I just, I'll use a simple straight line from here and downwards. Um, and the belly button is somewhere around here. It's going to be a little squeezed because of the angle. And this part here is, it, it doesn't go here. Remember that the part of the, the, the outer part of the torso is always um, more outer than the arm in this angle. So it doesn't go here. It doesn't go here, even more to the left. So somewhere around here, you already want to um, indicate it. And it's sort of, 
in this angle it sort of moves um, there is this dent and then another this sort of a wavy shape that maybe I exaggerated just a, a bit too much now I will indicate this shoulder muscle just to make it clear as to the connection point between the arm and uh, the torso and now I really this is something that we'll do later on when we're shading I'm not sure we'll get to to it in this video but in order to really uh, indicate the six pack or you know whatever you want to call it these muscles uh, you really need the shading but the way they go is uh, about here so you have one two and three and hopefully this is relatively anatomically uh, accurate now I will make a separate video on the abs I do need to make some research um, in order to do that successfully so I will leave it to a more uh, to another lesson in the future only one thing that I forgot is let's get rid of this guideline and create another line that moves from the shoulders and onto this area you will see this it's the neck bone I believe um, you can feel it um, in your body if you just touch that point here um, and now let's get another one of the uh, legs done here I hate leaving this one but I do want you to see some of the <laughs> the legs at least and if you feel like I'm going through this too fast um, don't worry because I will make a, a specific video for each of these body parts for the head and for the legs and for the abs and the torso and everything okay and for the arms we already have one we'll probably do some more so don't worry about it this is more to see how it all connects um, to understand how the weight sort of leans in its entirety on this uh, leg here and these are the, the more important things here um, and just the gist of every part okay so uh, on the upper part of the leg here you will see this area is quite um, angle uh, angled so you have this very um, strong angling here from this line and this line in a female figure it will be a little more curved um, but still not as much as some people tend to really do the, the, the um, a big make a big difference between the two figures there are many differences but sometimes I see really um, extreme examples of the differences and I don't like it um, there is there are major differences but not as much as some people portray okay now for this area this is sort of curves back to the left and another line leaves from here and sort of connects to the knee okay so this one doesn't continue and this is something I've seen in many examples that I looked at uh, so it sort of goes from here in a straight line this is a muscle and this is more of a straight line uh, perhaps it's another muscle coming from this way I'm really not sure it might be okay um, and from here it goes back inwards um, be below the knee um, now we'll use another line here to sort of indicate the left part of the knee my voice is cracking <laughs> uh, that's not good so and as you can see here I'm using a, a line here and here as well to represent where the knee is and perhaps another one here now the same thing happens around the knee with this part it sort of becomes straight now and this is the major thing to pay attention to we have just like we had here a very angle a very rounded shape here but straight in this part exactly the, the same only will begin with a straight shape representing the muscles and slowly break it down into a straighter line and here as well we have only the exact not the exact opposite it just begins in a lower part so sort of here a curve 
and back towards a straight line. And now when we'll get rid of all the guidelines, you'll be able to see this more easily. There we go, the shape of the leg. There are some um, strong representations of muscles here in this area. Um, and here this one muscle here and another one in this part on the left. But again, these are all things that will be added using um, shading more than everything. So now let's perhaps get this foot done and then all the rest in time lapse. So. Um, and hopefully you can see all the lines well. Yeah, it looks good. So there we have it. We have this bump in the ankle here. And this foot is pointing almost straight towards us. So what I'm going to do here is sort of create the general shape. And then I'll use a trick that I've seen uh, Mark really, if you know him an amazing artist. What he does, and many other people do, is sort of divide um, the leg into the fingers using this line. So he goes, um, here's the, the big toe, and then the rest sort of, we can just throw a line for them. And perhaps I need to correct this line because it's a little less curvy like this and there's some heavy um, foreshortening going on here I didn't get this um, perfect actually it's more like this is the toe and you can see its continuation like this mm, still not good Geez, <laughs> this can take some time. Um, yeah, but there you see how I'm struggling with this angle as well. It's not an easy angle at all. A bit looks a bit better now. Uh, we can work on it more and more and try and make it more perfect, but that'll be very time consuming. I will make a separate video on foot or on feet. I promise. <laughs> Um, but let's go on and finish it all up and hopefully we'll have a better um, luck with this other um, foot. So let's kick it into time lapse and I'll see you soon and we'll wrap this video up. Okay friends, there you have it, um, a full male figure and a high karate kick. Um, this was very challenging for me as well, but I think it was good practice. Um, a few key notes on the things I've done here. Um, notice how, first off, I indicated this bump here in the beginning of the hand, the, arm, the hand, sorry. This is, this is very important, it's this area here and it is visible from many angles. And it sort of creates a nice separation between the hand and the rest of the arm. So try and get that in. Um, you will notice it's visible in many, many angles. In this angle, however, it's not visible because it's more on the outer part of the hand. And here we see the inner part. So a very interesting thing happens here with this hand as well. Because we see this finger, which is this one. And due to the angle, we see this one behind it, but it's almost entirely obstructed by it. And it creates this sort of a nice three-dimensional effect that hopefully you can see um, between those two fingers. Sort of like the hand fans out and one finger almost entirely obstructs the other. Um, so this is another nice effect effect to get, you know, you just draw what you see and this is what comes up. But um, really, uh, the, the real human body is the best teacher. Simply do what I did, uh, search for a good reference and try and draw that angle or um, that figure that you see. 
Um, if you can go to a live uh, drawing class with a model, it's much better. Um, here on the other leg, on the other foot, hopefully we've done a better job. I think it looks kind of neat in this uh, angle. You have the big toe and then sort of the rest of the toes hiding behind it. Um, so this is it. I will get uh, down to each and every uh, part of these body parts. And, but hopefully this was helpful as well, just as an overview of everything. Um, thank you so much for watching. If my videos help you, please subscribe. I'm really trying to grow this channel. Um, and, and it's nice knowing that um, people actually look forward to, to your videos. So anyone who messaged me or comments or whatever, thank you so much. And do check out my website where I share content that I share nowhere else. Um, you have to subscribe and it's like really simple. You can simply put your email and name and uh, there you have it. Uh, and I send you personally things that I don't share here. Um, so go check that out. And thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.